Hey there folks, Danny B back with another rail fanning adventure from Nashville, Tennessee. This time coming on February 24th, 2024. I decided to get up extra early compared to our last trip, and as a result, even though the sun had not fully come up yet, by the time I arrived, a southbound manifest was parked on one of the tracks with the rear of the train nearby our filming location, and as soon as I arrived, a southbound intermodal train was crossing the track at the signal to pass around a manifest. The intermodal train was wasting no time making its way through, carrying a lot of speed as he headed south into Nashville. As we say goodbye to that intermodal train, our southbound manifest still shows no signs of leaving as the signal now shows that a northbound train has priority to go through before it can leave. So I couldn't even get here in time to get set up. We've already got rail action and it's not even 6 a.m. yet. Uh, back behind me, we've got a southbound manifest who is parked right here and we just had an intermodal cross tracks right when we got here he went over from the same track that this uh, manifest is on and he crossed over and passed him on his left side right now we've now got a signal pointed northbound so we're going to have another train come right through here that we know of at least so we'll get set up and we'll get the next train a little bit better and before I knew it, we had the first full catch of the day coming up as a quick northbound train heads its way through with a very friendly crew offering three blasts of the horn to say hello this morning.
As that grain train made its way northbound, he crossed back over to the opposite tracks, likely headed up to Henderson Sub, but then something grabbed my eye, and while I don't condone or recommend it, I felt like I needed to step on the tracks to grab something. Alright, I don't, I wouldn't condone doing this. I don't, definitely don't do this, but I see something that's got my attention on the tracks. You may want to move it. I don't recall this being here earlier. So I don't know if it somehow was on the last train. But that's the remains of an old bike on the tracks. You got nothing coming that way, nothing coming that way. Move that out of the way. That wouldn't be good if that got hit again. I mean, it'd probably be okay, but better for it to not be sitting there. After removing the trashed bike from the tracks, I couldn't help myself but admired a beauty as the sun continued to rise over the hills of Middle Tennessee. There was a breeze in the air, but the temperature was warm, the doves were out and about, and before I knew it, I caught the end of that southbound manifest as he finally proceeded into Nashville. Up next, if you like friendly crews, well this was certainly the episode for you. We've got a southbound auto wreck train with a single locomotive at the front with a crew that was kind enough to not only ring the bell, but also give us a wave. Pay attention to the window as they roll on by.
Finally, the northbound signal indicated that I could catch one last train for the morning before I needed to head home as a northbound intermodal train made his way through.
vector. Milepost 179.0. Track main 2. No defects. Repeat. No defects. Total axles 476. Length 1130. Detector out. And after that intermodal went through, my wife and I hit the road for a weekend getaway in Memphis, Tennessee. We have lived in Tennessee our entire life, but neither of us had ever went to Memphis until that weekend. The drive there wasn't too bad, and we went and had some delicious barbecue at the barbecue shop in Memphis, and we visited the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. I am a fisherman, and I love all things Bass Pro Shops, and I had seen every store except for the ones in Memphis, and I was truly blown away by the size of the pyramid in person. We shopped around, enjoyed the scenery in the store, and atop the viewing deck overlooking the Mississippi River, and I dreamed about all those beautiful Nitro, Tracker, and Ranger boats down on the showroom floor. Afterwards, we did stay at the world-famous Peabody Hotel. If you'd like to see our full adventure in Memphis, check it out over on my main channel, Danny B Talks, where I post vlogs of my wife, Claudia, from time to time. Then the next day, before we left, I did make an attempt to rail fan in Memphis. I reached out to the local Memphis Rail Fans Facebook group, and they all agreed that everyone's favorite and safest location was on Channel 3 Drive, right by the police station, and it didn't take me long to realize why it was so highly recommended. The area is wide open with multiple tracks seeing trains from BNSF, Union Pacific, Norfolk Southern, and other forms of power can be seen here. However, even though I'd love to get a good shot of some BNSF trains, the closest I came was a scrap train that had been waiting there in a the distance for a few hours according to some rail fans we met. And a train carrying reefers came in, but it also stopped out in the distance, disconnected, and the power moved to the other side via Union Pacific trackage. I'll definitely need to consider going back to Memphis one day to rail fan, and perhaps there's other places that I can go to catch those beautiful orange locomotives of BNSF. However, for this video, that's all I've got until next time. My dad is coming in this weekend, and we plan to get out and do some rail fanning together. And we have tickets to take a ride on the Tennessee Central Railway Museum's excursion train. So stay tuned for some more great rail fanning videos coming on my channel in the coming weeks. Until next time, I appreciate you stopping by. If you're new here, please give us a subscribe. And we'd really love to gain your support on this channel and grow it to 1,000 subscribers by the summer. And if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like to let the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoyed it so that more people can be recommended in my rail fanning videos. And as always, happy rail fanning, and we hope that you have a great day. Bye, guys. Four years and 14.